Greetings. As you start your first 20 today and meet with the Lord, I want to encourage you to be wildly expectant and to anticipate all that the creator of the universe wants to share and reveal to you. You know, five years ago, my family and I were preparing to leave our house to spend time with friends of ours. And here's the thing, before we were gonna go, we were gonna stop at the dealership to pick up my car that was being repaired. And because it was off hours, the dealership had put the key under the mat and locked the door. And so as we're preparing to leave, I go to get my spare key and I can't find it. So in moments like this, we start to look and I realize it's lost. We gather together as a family and we pray and we keep looking and we're just not having any luck finding it. Now at this point, admittedly, I am a bit stressed. One, I really needed to pick up my car that day. The thought of not having it the next day or having to rearrange my schedule was causing me a little stress. The second thing was those replacement keys are expensive and I wasn't wanting to pay money to have that. But there was this underlying sense that it was important to find the key. And so I just wasn't going to leave until we found it. And so we're looking and looking everywhere we can. And all of a sudden this thought pops in my mind. It's like a fleeting thought, one of those that you could easily dismiss. But we were so desperate, I wasn't gonna let that thought go. And the thought was, the key is in the garage in the garbage pail. I have nothing to lose. So I go out to the garage, I open the garbage pail and I start looking through the garbage. I kid you not, the key is sitting there in the garbage. And in that moment, I thought to myself, what just happened? God just showed me where the key was. If I hadn't done this, the garbage was gonna go out the next day. We would have lost the key. Did I drop the key in the garbage? Did God like transport the key from one place in the house to the garbage? How did that happen? I have no idea, but that's the God we serve. He can reveal those kinds of things to us. Just two days ago, I was reflecting on this story uh, at 6.45 in the morning as I was doing my first 20. And all of a sudden, I get a text message. I look down and it's from a friend that I speak to maybe once or twice a year. He lives down in North Carolina. And the text message was a picture of the beach, a beautiful picture. I could tell he was there at that moment. The sunrise was coming up and it was beautiful. I, I personally love the beach and I meet with the Lord in the beach. The picture was beautiful. But then underneath it, it said James 4, 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It was like God was speaking to me in that moment through a text message. And I really feel like today, as we go into our first 20s, we need to realize that it's very simple. The creator of the universe just wants us to draw near to him. Allow your heart to connect with him. And he promises that he's going to draw near to you. Who knows what he's gonna to reveal to you today? Who knows what he wants to share? Maybe he has a text message for you to send. Maybe he wants to share with you something that's been causing you pressure or stress. I don't know what it is, but go expectantly and anticipate all that you will hear today. God loves you. God bless you.